Hello everyone, my name is Dr. John Nabebe, President of Jaja Bebe Art Foundation and the Medical Director of Jaja Bebe Fertility Centre. Um, I want to speak on factors that affect um, IVF success. All right? There are many people who um, are wondering how come IVF is not 100%. And you know they are wondering this why because IVF is very expensive. You don't want to commit so much resources into a program that is 50-50. People don't like that word 50-50 at all. They feel it's a gamble. All right. Why would I spend so much on going through a treatment program without any guarantees? The truth of the matter is that in human reproduction there are there are, there are no guarantees. But there are factors that definitely affect your chance of success. And one of that factor that is what I want to speak on to today, and that is the factor of age. Age of who? The age of the woman, most especially. Age is a factor that affects the success of IVF, both for the man and for the woman. But for the woman, it is more. Why? Because age affects the quality of the egg that is produced by the woman, all right? And that quality of egg would determine the quality of embryo that will be generated, and the quality of embryo will determine the rate of implantation and if the patient gets pregnant or not. And what we are seeing in our clinics is that a lot of couples are coming to us at an advanced age. What do you mean by an advanced age? Any woman who is above 35 and above, the age factor has already set in. The quality of our eggs have, re have begun to reduce significantly. All right, and when they go through an IVF process, age will, will speak um, significantly in terms of the outcome. And so that is why we encourage couples to start the journey of treatment early. All right, a lot of people feel that IVF is the last resort. No, IVF is not the last resort. All right, but more than 60 to 70 percent of fertility issues will require IVF. And so, I want to counsel couples today that once you've done one year and you have not gotten pregnant, go to a fertility center, begin to run tests to find out what the challenge is. And based on the challenge, based on the cause, the gynecologist will probably recommend that you go through an, a, an IVF program as a means to getting pregnant. Don't say, oh, I'm still too young. I just got married two years ago, three years ago. Remember the age factor, particularly for the woman. The younger a woman is, the easier the greater there are chance of achieving conception. All right, we have seen so many couples who have waited endlessly, wasted time, and by the time they, are, they finally come and they are ready for IVF, the age factor has already set in. And a lot of times, most of those couples, the best option that is given to them to achieve conception is egg donation program. And no, most women, in fact, virtually all women will not want that. They would rather prefer, every woman would prefer to have her eggs used. All right, but unfortunately, the reality is that by the time you're coming for IVF, the chances of getting pregnant with your own egg would have significantly been reduced. And that is why I'm encouraging all couples, please make sure that as soon as you're one year and you're not getting pregnant, please, begin to visit the clinic and let's begin to talk about a, a more active uh, treatment option for you to ensure that you get pregnant as soon as possible. All right, so we've talked about one of those factors, age, and uh, in the next series, I'll be talking about another factor that affects success in IVF. So see you soon. Bye.